Hi guys and welcome to Toby's Blogs, back in the old space we used to be in before. Ok so today's video is going to concentrate on one of Jerry Anderson's quite uh, most popular series which is Thunderbirds. Now I haven't really watched Thunderbirds, didn't really watch Thunderbirds before. Um, it's because I had this idea that you know Thunderbirds are a bit creepy, you know puppets. Because I watched Stingray before. And I used to love Stingray, but then the puppets in Stingray were kind of creepy, all those underwater monsters and the way they talk and the way they look and the way their eyes move. And I thought, well, Thunderbird's going to be like that, isn't it, with the big heads? Because I love all of Jerry Anderson's later productions, uh, Captain Scarlet, Joe 90 and Secret Service, where the heads are more realistic and more cut down. And I absolutely adore Captain Scarlet, it's one of my favourites. Uh, Joe 19. I love The Secret Service. It's one of Jerry Anderson's, well, I think it's one of Jerry Anderson's best. I love it. And it's a pity it was so cut so short. Um, but yeah, so I thought that the early productions were quite creepy. Um, anyway, even though I love Stingray, I thought, well, Thunderbirds is going to be similar to that, isn't it? So I thought, well, no. So I put it up all the way until now, where the new series came out, and I thought, well, I was a big hype about it. I love Jerry Anderson's stuff. So I thought I'd watch it. And so I watched the new series and I quite liked it. And I thought, well, I've got to go and watch the old series now. And I was a bit hesitant about watching it. But then I eventually got round and I watched it. And I really enjoyed it. All the characters and the sets and the storylines and everything. And I realised it was just like one of uh, one of Jerry Anderson's other shows. And it was actually really good. And I really started really enjoying it and watching the ca enjoying the characters and everything. And so recently I decided to watch the old series and it was really good. And then I bought the film version. And I, I, can't, I love this film, I used to love the film, but now watching it back with new eyes after watching the old series, I can see why some people didn't like it. Um, and you know, I can... Yeah, and it's kind of watching the film with new eyes and... I kind of had different views about it, and I decided I didn't really like the film now, which was weird. Um, uh, it came with... Um, I decided to get it with the figurines, um, Thunderbird 3, which has got wheels, which I thought was really weird. Why has it got wheels? You know, when does Thunderbird 3 ever need to land horizontally, you know? When? It's always a rocket ship that goes into space. Why does it need to be have wheels? And it's just, why make it with wheels? It just really annoys me. Because they didn't make Thunderbird 1 with wheels. They made Thunderbird 3 with wheels. Probably because in the film it does land. But I would have thought it would land vertically, not horizontally. Anyway, that's the rubbish Thunderbird 3 figurine. Thunderbird 1... It's got some weird thing in it. When did when was this a thing? When did Thunderbird one top ever fly off? You know, it's, why? I just don't know why have they done that? It's weird. Thunderbird one, Thunderbird two, which I'm putting one of my favourite Thunderbirds, and Thunderbird. Five, which is really irritating because they didn't make the bottom bit so it looks really weird and it's weird, doesn't look like the original anyway and this thing kind of moves and goes pings back I don't know what it does and the whole thing seems to like come apart and everything and you know, it kind of comes out there let's see that comes off and then that comes off why all this comes off, I don't know doesn't seem to make much sense and it's a bugger to put back together again is really weird. Anyway, we're not meant to be talking about figurines. We're meant to be talking about Thunderbird. And I watched the new series, the first episode or two episodes. Um, and I uh, forgot to mention Thunderbird 4. Tiny little Thunderbird 4. Which I quite like Thunderbird 4. Yeah, and the new series, which is quite good. I quite enjoyed it. Quite action packed. You get to see the characters. Good to see the return of the hood. Um, 
quite action packed, I quite enjoyed it. I haven't seen the new one yet. Um, I was on CITV, I haven't watched that one yet. But uh, looking forward to watching it and all the characters. And I like, yeah, so it's going to be good. So I'm looking forward to watching that again. And I'm really getting into Thunderbirds now. Um, after watching the old series and the new series and the film, I watched the film before I watched the old series. Um, so I watched the film originally in the cinema and I watched it before I watched the classic series. I watched the classic series on and off clips and bits and bobs but never actually sat down and watched an actual episode. Um, and some nitpicks with this film um, was why did they make the Tracy Brothers um, a bunch of obnoxious brats? Why? I just don't understand that. It ruins the film that they make the brothers so horrible, unlikable characters that you think, why would I watch the film? Why? Like, you hate them in the film. Well, as if it's not just me, as I do. It's like, they're so horrible and nasty and so horrible to their brother. And, like, one of them said, like, oh, um... Oh, Alan's down on the on the ground. He's there working. His dad says, "Oh, Alan's working for us. He's only a kid." Or like, "Oh no, he can't do. He's only a kid." And I'm like, "You're horrible, nasty, horrible brats." I know in the original um, Thunderbirds that they were all together. Alan and Alan Scott, Virgil, Gordon, and John. They were all together all doing missions and so this movie was a bit odd they put Alan out and they made a horrible choice of making the Tracy Brothers obnoxious brats that no one likes and I went through the film absolutely detesting them watched it last night I detested the brothers because they were absolutely awful horrible creatures that no one cares about and so you're on the side of Alan which is good, what she's meant to do, I suppose. But then he's like, hate them, because they're obnoxious brats. And I was like, why did you do that? Why did you make a choice to make them obnoxious, horrible little brats that no one cares about? Like, they could die in the film, and you wouldn't even care, because they're like the villains. Well, I like the hood in this film. The hood, the adult characters, the only good parts of the film, really. Um, uh, Penelope, um, uh, Brains and um, Parker and the Hood. They're the only good characters in the film. Um, and then the, chil the main three children are good. But the rest of them, the horrible, obnoxious brats, I don't see why they decided to do that in casting, because it was just awful. Um, yeah, that's the film. I used to like the film, but I don't like it now after watching the classic series, you know. It's kind of like, we all know it's not the same. Why did you do that? It's not the same. Now Broken Thunderbird 5 again. And you know, um, yeah, so I'm really liking the, the classic series, watching the old Jerry Anderson puppet versions. And you know, my mum said to me, oh, I like, um, I like to see the strings. I like the old string version. I didn't really like the new version. Well, that is a thing, you know, the modern version is very animated, isn't it? It's very different and uh, I watched when I watched the the, uh, the, uh, the modern version I thought well yeah it is very different and they don't look a lot like their puppet tree characters now I think that's what Jerry Anderson did does wrong in his um, in his anim in his animation versions like Captain Scarlet I haven't watched Captain Scarlet and Captain Scarlet because it looks absolute crap um, you know, there, there is, um, online, there is animations that they've done that actually make the, the Captain Scarlet characters look like the puppets. And they look like Captain Scarlet puppets, um, but in animation form. And they look fantastic, you know, they look exactly the same. And you know, Jerry Anderson in the interview said, oh, the characters are going to look exactly the same. No, they do not. The new Captain Scarlet it looks absolute shit. They look nothing like what they looked in the show. And they're like complete different characters. Um, so I think... And they replaced Lieutenant um, Green 
with a woman, which I would think was a terrible idea. They've replaced character with a woman. Right, right now. What the? God Almighty. Oh, mon dieu. Well, I suppose it's harmless enough. Lieutenant Green. I can't. I can't breathe. Is he legally entitled to do this, Colonel? And, uh, yeah, so, but the Jerry Anderson one was quite good. I think it's quite true to the original. Um, it's quite exciting to watch. I'm looking forward to watching more episodes. Um, the problem with, I feel, with the, uh, the new um, Thunderbirds is that they decided to cast Brains as an Indian. Um, and I hate doing stuff for the sake of being multicultural. Uh, they made him Indian just for the sake of ad having a multicultural character in there. And even Tintin and her father, they're, they're Oriental, are they? They're, 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 they've, you've already got a, a cultural member in there, which is Tintin and her family, because they're not English, are they? And so that that element's already in there, and I don't see why you need to have another character in there, why Brains has to be Indian. I just don't see why that, that had to be a thing. And I don't like that. And the way that in the Captain Scarlet new one, they replaced Captain Lieutenant with a woman. Why? Because we had to have a woman in there. No, it was perfectly fine. They had women as the angels. Why did you need to put another woman in there? It's like, why do you change things just to be multicultural? You're already multicultural. You're already um, got strong feminine characters and stuff like that, like um, Lady Penelope, strong female character, why do you need to have other strong female characters? You've got enough. And so that was my little nitpick about Thunderbirds. The new series, really enjoying the new series, really enjoying the old series, I haven't finished it, I'm like halfway through, and it changed my views on the film that I quite liked when I was a kid. And I get to play around with these little Thunderbird figures. And it's quite exciting. I'm quite enjoying becoming thunderized with Thunderbirds. Um, which is something I missed out on. Everyone else watched them as if they were a kid in my era. But I watched Stingray and I didn't really watch Thunderbirds. And so it's nice to start watching something new and getting involved in some sort of cult thing. Um, and yeah, Thunderbird, Vargo, and interesting. Enjoying the new series, enjoying the old series. I'm watching them at the same time, which is quite interesting. Um, yeah. So that was my little video about Thunderbirds. Thank you, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you soon. Love you guys. See you whenever. Love you guys. Um, Captain Scarlet's here, Colonel. You sent for me, sir. I'm very busy, Captain Scarlet. I'll give you 30 seconds. Colonel, you're aware that I've resigned from Spectrum. Now, my name is Mr. Bear. I see.